Hi there everybody, welcome to another video. In today's video I have this Mercedes C-Class. This is a 2013, the W204 chassis. Um, this is a C180 petrol automatic. And um, I'm gonna be showing you how to access and sort of how you could possibly remove this micro V-belt or this is called a serpentine belt, power steering belt, or alternator belt they're all the same the same belt <laughs> um, the reason I'm showing you just I'm just gonna show you how um, how you could quickly remove it and refit it it's just mine shredded off and and I had to remove it in bits so I've already fitted a new one but I, I got it all set up to show you how to access it it's fairly simple it's not a difficult one um, so to get proper access to it you want to remove this intake hose here and that intake hose just literally um, I've already got it all loosened obviously so that there is plugged in here and if you lift this clip if you put a screwdriver in there and lift this up a little bit or or push this bit down a bit you'll be able to remove this um, you sort of have to once you loosen it up here if you push it down it will come out because at the bottom there's the same sort of clip and the same goes with this side um, which is kind of locked into place and also here so you can see the little clips they go in here you'll be able to pull this out of there and then you shall be able to To get this out as well so clearly I got it in there in the process of sort of <laughs> refitting this all this roughly I got it locked into place right so if you release it up here and then sort of push it down it will come out from the bottom so it's not too difficult to remove and then we have access to this area now in here is where I have already I got my belt in place and the first thing I would suggest is to make a little drawing of how your old belt is in place so that way when you have your new belt you know exactly how it's going to go around those wheels because um, often you remove it and then it's hard to figure out how it goes back in um, so I sort of had to had to figure out because the other one shredded and I can still see bits of it so <laughs> I'll just show you down here pick up <sighs> so there's some bits of the belt I don't really know what happened maybe it's just uh, completely worn out or old or dried it didn't look too bad the last time I checked it anyway this, these things happen unless one of those wheels has failed which I'm going to find out soon enough so in order to get the belt out you need something like this like a ratchet that I got here and uh, this ratchet has it's a 17 mil and it's also that sort of type it can't it, it can't be the other types so the other types are like a hexagon or something like that this has got all the little splines around it not sure what this is called this type of socket but um maybe it does maybe it says here not quite <laughs> anyway it's a 17 mil socket with all those little splines because that needs to go and I'm just gonna get my camera down there it needs to go on there and also next to that you can see I have a little um, pin so I've got that 
five mil pin. So this one here. Um, so on that tensioner, there's a hole where you can put that pin. So again, try to... Okay, I'm gonna try to sort of focus on that. Just getting the light on here. So on that image, you could see where that pin is about, like I said, a five mil in size. Like you can use a drill bit, five millimeter drill bit, and you can see where that goes in. So when you have that in there, if you put that in there properly, and then you have to push sort of anti-clockwise the whole thing will move and then you locate the hole and put the pin in and then you can release and remove this and um, there will be so you so basically we are releasing the tension off of the belt so now this belt is free to come out basically so I can take the belt out quite easily. Now I never put my fingers in between any of the wheels when I'm fitting, refitting the belt. And the reason for that is because if for whatever reason the little pin fails and slips out and the tension gets released. If I was putting my finger in between one of the wheels here and that gets released, then you get your finger caught on the belt so normally this is the last bit i do so um i've got i've got the belt all around the wheels quite safely i can put my fingers around whatever but once i get to this point just make sure So sorry, once I get to the point of the uh, tensioner there, just to make sure you do it all from outside. And it should nicely go in there. So that's basically how you can remove it and refit it. So now, obviously, we have to re um, retension it, which means we use the... Um, the ratchet again put it in the in the little bolt thing there and uh, release the tension uh, puts remove the pin and then uh, get the tensioner back so um, I'm just going to do that now that will be my last stage of So just to show you quickly before I release that tensioner, um, you have that up there, you have the crankshaft tensioner, the idler wheel, and then you have the alternator, and down there is the AC pump. So and that's more or less how the belt goes around. Okay, let's release that tension. Okay, get the tool in there. I'm gonna push down a little bit anti-clockwise. And now I can remove the pin. There's my pin. 
and now I can release the tensioner and that's pretty much I mean refitting it is the reversal removal <laughs> um, which is usually the other way but um, the one thing you just want to make sure once you've done that is that the belt is nicely going around all the wheels um, because occasionally sometimes uh, the belt might be sitting a little bit off off one of the wheels and uh, you don't really want that to happen because once you start the car it can actually come out instead of sit in properly it can come out especially with the wheels that have grooves on them the idler and the, the tensioner and the idler it doesn't really matter too much where exactly it's sitting but the other wheels it does matter um, so just check around that is sitting properly so now I'm going to start this car and uh, hopefully I don't have any other issues Okay, so that started without any dramas. The belt is running nicely, which means the problem I had was just probably related to the belt getting old and dry and uh, snapping off. So that's pretty much it. Um, the last thing to do would be obviously to fit this back on this literally just plugs in um, so having said that I hope the video helps don't forget to subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next video so thank you for watching